Hello everyone, I am Professor Sonu Niasi from Civil Department, uh, College in the Arsul Technical Campus, Faculty of Engineering, Chas Ahmadnagar. Uh, subject is the Structural Design and Drawing 3. Uh, in this uh, session, we start the unit number 2, uh, Design of Post Tension Slab. This is second unit. Uh, then chapter number 3, Design of post tension slab. In this unit, uh, we discuss the uh, one way slab, two way slab, and then uh, first e uh, discuss of the problems. Problem is the a simply supported one way post tension slab. A simply supported one way post tension slab is spanning over 10 meter. The slab is required to support a live load of 10 kN per meter square. Given is the live load 10 kN per mm square. Live load. Then, uh, if FCK is equal to the 30 MPa, FCK. Thirty MPa. Then, and compressive stresses are not likely to increase in service conditions. And structure is type I. Determine the minimum depth of slab required. Take loss ratio as 0.8 k. Loss ratio given 0.8. Then. Determine the minimum depth as 0.8 and the cube strength of concrete as transfer as 23 MPa. FCK. FCK is the 23 MPa at transfer. This is given data. Then uh, the loss ratio as 0.8 and the cube strength of concrete at transfer as 23 MPa. Uh, MCK is the 23 MPa. Uh, total this is the uh, problem. Then the solution. This problem having the given data. Then the step. This is step first. Step first. Step first is a given data. Then step number second. Step number second is the find approximate depth. Find approximate depth of the live load, second number. Uh, then the moment due to live load. Then formula for the live load calculation is the WL square by 8. Then W is the 10. Span is the 10 equal to the answer is the 125 kilonewton per meter. Therefore, M upon Z is equal to the sigma. Then 125 into the 10 raised to 6 divided by m upon z 
m upon z is equal to sigma, then the uh, put in this uh, formula values 125 into 10 raised to 6 in, into sigma upon 1000 into d square is equal to the 30. Then uh, m upon z is equal to sigma, then the uh, put in values 125 into 10 raised to 6 into sigma upon the 1000 into d square is equal to 30. Uh, these all are the step number first and step number second. Yeah. This uh, live load is the 10 kilonewton per meter square, fck is the 30 mpa, then the k is the 0.8. Uh, then uh, FCK is the 23 MBA at transfer. Then uh, first step is the given data. Then second step is the find approximate depth of live load. Uh, then uh, moment due to live load. Uh, this formula is the square by 8. Uh, w is the 10 and span is the 10 square divided by 8 is the answer is the 125 kilometer per meter then uh, the next step is the d is equal to the d is equal to the under root These are the d square. Find out the d, then all terms in the under root of 125 into 10 raised to 6 into the sigma 6 divided by 1000 into 130. d is approximately equal to the mm self weight is equal to the point twenty five into one point eighteen into one into the twenty five Self weight is the 4.625 kN per meter square. This is the self weight. Then step number 3. Step number 3. Step number three, minimum sectional modulus. Minimum sectional modulus, MDL is equal to the 6.5 4.625 into the 10 square then MDL is equal to the 57.81 kN per meter this is MDL then Z minimum Then M 
MDL is the fifty seven point eighty one plus MLL is the MLL is the one twenty five. Divided by point eight into twenty three. K is the point eight. Yep, C is the twenty three MPA. Then Z minimum. Put all values in this uh, formula. Then answer is the seven point forty two into ten to the six M M M Q. This is Z minimum. Then actual depth. Actual depth is the then next is the actual depth is the under root of seven point forty two into ten raised to six. Ten raised to six into six. Then actual depth is the find out this uh, root equation. Then uh, answer is the uh, D is capital depth. Two hundred and fifteen mm. This answer. Then uh, in this problem is over, but I will explain again this problem. Then uh, unit number second is the design of post tension slab. Uh, step number first is the given data. Live load is the 10 kN per meter square. Then F C K is the 30 MPa. Then uh, K is the 0.8. Then F C K is the 23 MPa at transfer. This is given data in this problem. Then step number second is the find approximate depth of live load to find out the depth of the live load. Then the uh, find out the moment moment occurring in the live load. Then the formula is the uh, live load is the uh, load along the Same load distributed over the uh, span. In, uh, for example, in a building, load transferred to the same uh, in uh, slab. Then uh, W L square by eight. Uh, w is the ten, and span is the ten square upon eight. Then uh, moment in live load find out M is the one hundred and twenty five. Kilonewton per meter. Then the uh, m upon z is equal to the sigma six is equal to the one hundred and twenty five into ten raised to six is the moment in live load. Then uh, six upon thousand into d square is equal to the thirty. Then In d square, in uh, uh, in find out the d. Then all terms in under root of 125 into 10 raised to 6 into 6 upon 1000 into the uh, 130. Then uh, small d is approximate equal to the uh, 180 mm. Find out the uh, these terms. We get in Kelsey. Then value is the 180 mm. Then again find out the sulfate. Sulfate uh, formula is the 0.18 into 1 into 25. Then uh, calculate these terms. We get sulfate is the 4.625 kilonewton per meter square. Uh, this is the step number second. Then step number three is the minimum sectional modulus. Means the moment occurring in the dead load. The formula is the 4.625 into 10 raised to square. Formula is the W L square 
by 8. This is the uh, solution of this uh, problem. Then uh, next session continue on tomorrow. And last is the actual debt. Uh, capital D is the approximate equal to the 215 mm. Thank you.